Hey YouTube, how's everyone doing today? Everything is Tech here with a video on the rumored iMac 2011 refresh. Now, you know, many rumors, you know, said we'd have the new iMacs by April, but that was really wrong. But now, I'm definitely sure we're going to be seeing the iMacs in the next week or two. Mainly because, you know, many, many people who've been ordering the iMacs and shipping them, they're getting delayed until the May 2nd, and that Apple actually claims, you know, They'll ship it after May 2nd. And this is kind of unusual. You know, this is nothing that would actually happen to day to day with Apple or mainly any other company. So, this really does give a lot of room for speculation. And I'm definitely thinking we're going to be seeing new iMacs within the next week or so. So, if you can definitely hold off with buying a new iMac, definitely wait it out. I'm definitely waiting. I'm in the market to buy either a new iMac or Mac Pro. So, I'll be definitely waiting probably till the first or second week of June before I make my final purchase. But, anyways, if you can hold off, Definitely hold off. It's gonna be worth the wait. Now, what can we expect? I'm definitely thinking we're gonna see, you know, no new design, no new redesign. We're definitely not gonna be seeing that. The minimum, you know, screen size is probably still gonna say the 21.5 inch screen. Although, you know, I do wish Apple would change that to 24 inch, mainly because you know, 21 inch is kind of too small. 27 inch is way too big, but 24 inch is just probably perfect. And that'd be really great if they could do that. But if they don't, I don't think that's gonna be a really big deal. Some of the things we're definitely going to see is a new front-facing camera. It's definitely going to be HD, mainly because Apple's trying to get HD FaceTiming. So iMacs, you know, all the Macs can FaceTime. And if iMacs don't have the HD FaceTime, that's going to be really odd. Now, I'm 80% sure we're going to be seeing a Sandy Bridge processor. You know, it kind of seems like the actual right time because they just released a couple weeks ago. Actually, a few months ago, actually, but... No, Apple's definitely going to try to use the Sandy Burst processor. I'm definitely sure about that, 80%. Now, as far as the minimum RAM goes, you know, how you get 4 gigs of RAM with all the iMacs, I'm thinking that could be bumped up to either 6 or 8 gigs. That'd be really great, mainly because, you know, you need more RAM with these Sandy Burst processors. So it kind of would be, you know, normal to bump it up. But, you know, I'm not definitely sure about that. That's like a 50-50 on my part. Now, as far as Blu-ray goes or new re redesign goes, that's probably less than a 5% chance in my opinion. We're definitely not seeing Blu-ray. That's really, really low chance. That'd be really great if we did have them though, but really low chance. And I don't think, you know, there's going to be anything else. No Retina display yet or anything like that. So this is my speculation. This is what I think is going to be coming up and when the IMAX are coming up. So if you can wait it out, please wait it out. You'll definitely be happy. So this is it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Peace out.